this section. There are those who would prefer to gloss over it, and dare I say, from personal experience and knowledge of the same, there are those who will simply hunker down on one part of that passage and use the Bible like a sledgehammer to go after those who practice those same-sex relationships. Now, bear in mind, I have never, nor will I ever, we have never hosted, nor will we ever, a same-sex union. But bear in mind, if 20 gay couples show up here tomorrow and ask if they can come to church, I'll say, you and me both, brother. Every kind of sinner belongs in here because this is a holy hospital. This is not some kind of country club reserved only for the pure and holy. Amen. Listen, in the modern context, I would suggest to you that it is exceedingly difficult to simply follow Jesus and look like him because we have become so hyper-politicized, even God's people don't know how to leave the world's entanglements at the door and simply hunker down on this passage of Scripture, on this Word of God, and live life with God, illuminating grace and truth, love and mercy. Because if you want to stop and only read that passage, which is so often used like a sledgehammer upon unbelievers today, you just got to read on. This is an indictment on every single human being ever.